when I realized that sun came out and it came out to stay, I nixed those plans, honey. It was time to get out of here. Time to... <laughs> Happy Vlogmas days 15 and 16, y'all. Days 15 and 16. I'm so glad that you all decided to join me. But love you. So if you're new here, go ahead and take this time to click on that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. Okay, lovies. So now that you've clicked on that bell, you're family. So go ahead with the rest of my lovies and pull up your chair, pop a squat, get comfortable. But before you do all of that, make sure that you grab your favorite beverage and some popcorn or whatever your favorite snacks are. Go ahead and pop a squat. But if you have family at home, tell them to come on in the room and act like they're at home. And pull up a chair, pop a squat too. Good morning, y'all. Let's get this day started with some freshly juiced green juice. How are you all doing this morning? That's the question that needs to be asked. Good morning, y'all. It's breakfast time again. I'm going to be having my green juice, a sausage, a boiled egg, and avocado toast. I love it when it's right. You can hardly ever find them without having to let them sit a while to ripen. And when they are ripe, I want all of it. All of it. I know there's some people out there that never had avocado toast. And it's so good. But you have to get it when it's right. Because if you don't get it when it's right, it's not going to taste good. And then you'll be saying, I don't like avocado toast. But it's an acquired taste anyways. Because it really, you can't explain the taste. I won't say it really don't have a taste because when it's right and you season it up good, it is. It does have a taste. But you take and just smash it up on your toast like that. Then you get you some seasonings. I like to add pepper on mine. I told y'all I'm a pepper girl. A pepper, pepper girl. And I'd like to add some seasoning all on mine. And that right there makes it good. Let me see my grace. Have some. Mmm. But yeah. Mm. You gotta get it when it's right. Because if you don't, it won't taste good. Now, for those who've never 
eating avocado. To get this seed out, I had already did it, but I thought I'd show y'all. To get this seed out, you normally take and place a knife or something in it. Do it like that. And turn it, and it'll come out. But y'all, yesterday, I did absolutely nothing. Nothing, pretty much. But I did get on my trainer, and I walked 4,000 steps. And I basically had the same breakfast that I had the day before yesterday. Actually, I basically had it for breakfast and lunch, and then I did my juice. I'll insert a picture. A piece of beef sausage, an egg, avocado, and oatmeal with raisin dates, walnut, and sliced apple. Okay. Just in case somebody is new here and didn't see what I had. I had oatmeal, an egg. Well, I added apple into my um, raisin dates and walnut oatmeal. And I had an egg and a piece of sausage. piece of beef sausage and when your avocado is ripe you're trying to get all of this out of here but when it's not right <laughs> you'd be willing to leave it in there but if you take and buy avocados and they're not ripe straight out just take and let them sit a few days and then Keep filling them when they get to be soft, when they're a little, a little pliable, when you can squeeze it and you feel a little give on the avocado. When it's not ripe, it's going to be hard. But when it's about ripe, you can feel it that it's ripe. You can feel that it's ripe. Feel it. And y'all, I'm just trying to do what's best for me in my weight loss journey because, as I told you guys, the scale had been fluctuating. It'll go up, come down, go up, come down. And like I told y'all, I am not looking for that. I am wanting results. So what I keep doing is trying to add things that I think will help me on my weight loss journey. That's why I added the apples for fiber and the oatmeal. And um, trying to bulk up on my protein with some eggs. I were eating scrambled eggs with cheese. So I figured I'd take the cheese out. And the only way I can eat eggs without cheese is to boil it. So that's what I decided to do. Start eating boiled eggs instead of cheese eggs. Because whenever I scramble my eggs, I want some cheese in them. So in order to avoid that pitfall, I just went ahead and said, let's boil them. Because as I said before, I'm looking for results. I am not trying to do this, you know, in vain. So, yeah. Now I might have some oatmeal later. In about two or three hours, I might have to add some oatmeal. Because like I said, I want to get that fiber in. And more than likely, I'll add an apple to it as well. But y'all, the sun came out. It's peeking its head out. I hate to speak and say that because most of the time when I do, the, the sun I take and go back in. And I want some vitamin D, some of that real godly vitamin y D. This is what happens to me when the sun comes out. I go from looking like that. Someone who's in need of some vitamin D, like real quick, fast, and in a hurry, to looking like this. 
Yes, this. She got that vitamin D, y'all. The sun came out today. On my skin, on my face, it just feels so good. When the sun just beams on your face. Look, look at it. Looks like it's going back in. Just because I spoke. I'm just stirring my green juice. I got me some water over here too. But today I'm going to be cooking my cabbage and I don't know what kind of meat. I might have salmon because I think that's all that's in the refrigerator. I normally wouldn't eat cabbage and salmon, but today since that's what I have in the house, that's probably what's going to be on the menu. I would like some chicken with it, but some chicken and maybe some rice. But like I said, I'm going to have probably what's in my house and not worry about it. I'm not one of those who's like, oh, I can't eat salmon with cabbage. I'll eat it. I am not that girl. Okay. that girl y'all have some egg mm. but y'all like I said I want to do what's best for me in my weight loss journey. So if y'all see me trying stuff, it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to keep trying until that scale plummets down. That's the goal. That is the goal. But yeah, I did absolutely hardly anything yesterday. I did force myself to go ahead and get on the trainer and start walking. I think I did probably about, I started it. I think it was probably around 8.29, and I finished about 9.10. So 30 some, 30, 40 some minutes, somewhere in there. Mm, good. Y'all need to try it. At least try it once once but y'all I'll be back when I get ready to cook my cabbage okay hey y'all there has been a serious change of plans since the sun came out your girl gotta get out the house I have to get out the house cause baby I need that vitamin D. I told y'all. I need that vitamin D. Look at what look, look at what the sun does to me. Y'all. Look at what the sun does to me. 
that's what the sun does to me. I got to get out the house. I think I'm going to head to the mall. And I think I'm also going to um, take, in, take myself out to eat. Cabbage, you can wait today. When I realized that sun came out, and it came out to stay, I nixed those plans, honey. It was time to get out of here. Time to <laughs> go. I gotta go, y'all. I got to go. Yeah. So I figured I'd go ahead and make myself look like something, look presentable, and take myself out. Take myself out for a change. So we're going to get up out of here. Take y'all with me, okay? Now, I told y'all we were headed out because the sun gets me out of the house. It makes house. me want to get outside, head to the mall, and take myself out to eat. Are y'all coming? If you are, come on, buckle up, and let's go. Y'all, I can't tell y'all enough how excited I was just to get out and get that vitamin D in. I was in a hurry to get out of the car, but I wasn't speeding as fast as it's going to look, okay? I sped up the video. Not here. Not even right here. Not here. Here it comes. Okay, I'm not driving that fast. <laughs> Especially around over here. I am not driving that fast, okay? Those are some very sharp curves. I ended up at Stonecrest, and I must say I really enjoyed my day. Well, y'all, with the sun having come out today and it just invigorated me, I decided to come out and treat myself to the Olive Garden. Y'all, take a look at who I ran into. He was fresh from the North Pole. He had to run in there and get him some vittles. And he was so kind. The kids in the restaurant were so excited to see him. <laughs> Y'all, I'm out with my daughter, but she didn't want to be on camera. She told me if I record her, she will report me to YouTube. Hello, loveys. <laughs> Y'all, I started my meal off with a salad and ended up almost having what I would have cooked at home. Y'all know salmon and broccoli with cheese for my drink i ended up ordering a spiked strawberry lemonade and my daughter had ordered the chicken gnocchi soup and her main course was a sirloin steak with fettuccine alfredo and for her drink i think she ordered the italian rum punch and this concluded my sun filled sun soaked vitamin d day but love you. It's time to go. I love you guys, and I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today. And come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke chapter 17, verses 20 and 21.